When you log into your Google Ads account, probably the first thing that you are going to check is looking at the numbers and data in your campaign page. The default columns in Google Ads are not the best possible layout for everybody, and you need to customize your columns view in a way that suits you the best. In this video, I am going to show you how I usually arrange my columns in Google Ads to check the performance of my campaigns. To arrange columns to your preference, click on the Columns button and then select Modify Columns. First, I am removing the existing metrics from the right section, which is the displayed column list. For the first column, I add B the strategy type. Then I add target CPA and target ROAS, which of course depends on if you have the revenue data in your account. Then I add a column for cost to track the spend of my campaigns. Then a column for recommended budget. This is useful if my campaigns are limited by budget and sometimes Google recommends a new budget to apply. Then I add a column for conversion value uh, divided into cost which shows me the ROAS for my campaigns. Next, a column for cost divided into conversions or CPA of my campaigns. Then columns for impression. And clicks. Now a column for CTR or click-through rate. Now I add the main performance metric, conversions, conversion rate, and conversion value, which is your re revenue. Next, I add average CPC column. Now I am adding some of the competitive metrics in Google Ads to check how my campaigns are doing uh, compared to the competition in the market. I go to the competitive metrics column Search impression share. This column tells you how many impressions you received on Google search results compared to the total impressions that you were eligible to receive. This column could be a good indicator whether your campaigns are competitive enough in your market or not. Or not. Next one, I am adding search absolute top impression share. This is similar to in search impression share data, but gives you data about how many times your ad appear on the first position on Google search results. The next one, search lost impression share budget. This column tells you how often your ad didn't show on Google search results due to low budget. You will know if you need to increase your budget to get more clicks. Next, click share. This column is similar to impression share, but tells you about clicks instead of impressions. Click share tells you the amount of clicks you have received on Google search results compared to the estimated maximum number of clicks that you could have received. These are usually the columns that I use in my day-to-day -day view. When you save your column set, you can always choose to see this view in your campaign page without having to reorder them again. Your custom columns view does not have to be exactly in this list and order that I showed. Depending on your business and objectives, you can modify them in a way that is more helpful to you.